by doing the addition, you're going to have to add a, a forward or two, aren't you? Uh, we, we will add, uh, we, we need a forward, uh, maybe two, and uh, through the process, of that it'll, it'll happen today. Uh, I'm certain of that. Um, obviously, Rochester is practicing this morning, and you know, the things that need to transpire haven't yet, So, but there will be. What's, the, uh, what's your take on just the, the mood and the temperature? I mean, five in a row is five in a row, but like we talked Saturday, the schedule's been rough. Got more out of the game Saturday. It's a new week now. What's just what's your feel with temperature? Yeah, you. I mean, you. I think streaks and uh, just that specifically is not for us as a team. Uh, things happen. You know, there's been lots of streaks either way in the league. Uh, teams have gone through worse streaks, and we're on right now. Good, really good hockey teams that we know are good hockey teams in the league. And it happens, you, you, but you can't let that um, change what needs to be done. And for us, you know, no different than if we won, you know, three of those games. And we could have won games. Um, so you, you just have to stick to what uh, work you need to do. Um, and like I said, it can't change the way we do business in the sense of we know areas that we need to get better at um we know areas that we can improve at and you know we've seen lots of growth lots of improvement obviously you know tage thompson rasmus dalin you can't not see that improvement but it's but it's through the roster those guys are just glaring um and when you know we we stick to that um we will resolve any you know or more challenges than not uh, I shouldn't say everybody's going to have challenges all the way through the season, so I don't want to say resolve all our challenges, but resolve it to the point that outcome is going to be more favorable and more consistent. Uh, I'm confident of that. I know it. We've been through this process. You know, we're, where we're challenged is, you know, in these situations is experience. Um, but this is experience. Unfortunately, this is experience. So you can't let it break you. Uh, it breaks lots of teams. It breaks lots of players. Um, you know, that's the history of sports. We will not let it break us. And, and you know, again, we're just going to, boom, steadfast in what we do. We know it's going to work. It is going to work. We know it 100%. Just keep doing it. Does it feel like a, a weird season? Like you said, a lot of teams have been on weird streaks. Vancouver had a horrible streak at the start of the year. Does it seem like they're just yeah. that wild? I, I honestly, Mike, I think the, the it's – we're in a two-year span or three-year span where we're really going to see lots of turn, where you see these teams that have struggled and franchises that have struggled but have done a really nice job bringing in young talent and sticking with it. The, the, the guys that have been, there's been a lot of guys and teams that have been you know, riding the outer edge of age for the last few years, and that's um, obviously you age out at some point. And, and um, you know, I, I lived through it a little bit in Chicago and the challenges they had there, and it's, it's inevitable, uh, you know, because this sport is like, like professional sports, not this sport, all sports are age-driven, and um, you see that happening. So I think we're in that window of where that's really going to flip th- some things from when, you, when I watch around the league and see around the league. Uh, that's why I say we, you know, what we've set out to do a year and a half ago, uh, we're, we become more confident every day. So even the, the, the string of losses right now, it's, it's honestly, we have every right to be more confident in seeing how things are going to turn, and they're going to turn in a relatively short time throughout the whole league, I believe. And I think we're positioned very well for that. You mentioned on Friday that Tate has really led with his play over the past week or so, ever since that game against Tampa. It's- what impresses you about the way that he's responded to a game like the one in Tampa or just the, the added attention that he's getting as a player now that he's not surprising anybody? Every team has him circled on, on the board before a game. He's realized how, how – he's realized that he is a top player at this level. That's, that's one component that's happened. Um, he, prior to that, he knew it could happen. Now he realizes it, it's happening. Um, and he's always been a determined guy, and now he can be determined knowing he can achieve more in the moment. He was a guy that was determined 
that he could achieve off in the distance after months of training, after another year of development, after, you know, after this and after that, not, it's now for him. And that's the big difference. He has that now confidence. You know, some people have confidence that, okay, if I work today, it's going to work out tomorrow somewhere off in the future. And, and that was the spot he was in for, for quite a while. Uh, but now he recognizes that, hey, all the work I've done, it's, it's, I'm in the moment that now uh, that, that all that work pays off. And uh, if you match that confidence with determined, competitive determination, you can bring it each and every night. And I think, I, I really think we're, we're you know, you, you can speak on that and look at Darlene too. It's the same thing. He's now, he has that conviction where before it was confidence. Now he knows. He knows that he can make the play. So give me the puck. He knows that he can achieve in, in the now. Um, and that is what we're going and undertaking at a, at, a, at a team level. That's why I say we're doing all the right things to get to that point at a team level, but we're not there yet at a team level. We're going to get there. There's no no doubt in my mind we're getting there. So uh, he, he exemplifies that. As far as Eric goes, you know, he's played uh, just a lot of games and has started at other levels, but I mean, this is new for him. How have you seen him kind of wrap his arms around the starting role? I mean, he, he says he doesn't really compare differently, but then, you know, just watching him every day, just how have you seen him? Yeah, it's still uncharted territory for him. Um, so I think he's still he's still evolving in that role as as the number one guy or the guy that you know we go to for more games. Uh, he can he can handle the workload. Um, so I think it's still a process for him, much like I just spoke of for, for Eric. It just he he hasn't been there yet. So he, he you know he might have the confidence he can do it, but it's it's going to become conviction after experience happens and you can only get that after you know after uh, I should say you can only get it but he's 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 working toward that how, how big for lack of a better word for Craig's appearance has been he, he stepped in and he seamlessly kind of just yeah. in your back yeah he is you know with Eric we've been able to keep uh, or provide Craig the opportunity to play rested which is not something you can do often in this league or at this level. Uh, you can't do it as a, as a number one guy starting all the time. Um, but I think Craig is, is uh, wise enough um, you know, to use that. When, if he's fresh, you can see how intelligent of a goaltender he is, how efficient of a goaltender he is, and you know, that's, that's been a huge key. And he, he does uh, that. You know, he has a presence to him that I think carries over beyond his position uh, to to our team, which we've talked about a lot. With as well as he's played, have you been tempted to use him more? It's really rest with him. He's got to be fresh. If he's fresh, he's we, we're seeing him. When we see him excel, and just even in, in, in last year, it's fresh. You know, it's and it takes a little bit more. It's you know, we all know how it is when we age. Um, it's different than five years prior and. You know, especially at this level of high, high level, elite athletes surrounding you. Um, so I, 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 no, I don't feel tempted. I think, you know, it's it's when I look at Craig, if he's fresh, he's he's ready to go. That's that's good. But it does we want to provide him that time? And, and Eric's can handle much more. So. Yeah, it's it's a challenge. The challenge is you you, you want to push him, but you need to provide the the support as well. Um, you know, they're they're giving up a lot of years, a lot of size, strength, or you know, that's for, for the young guys. Um, and unfortunately, you know, it's it's you you don't get experience um, until you experience it. And a lot of times, you know, the ones that last are the the mistakes. You know, you, you would probably drive over the speed limit every day until you got your first ticket. And uh, then you realize, okay, I can't speed all the time. And it's a little bit like that in the NHL. And, and that's, that's, a, that's a challenge, but you got to feel it out. And, and I'm not saying I speed every day, though, Joe. So. Hey, Dan, but, how important is tomorrow not making it six in a row, going into the three-game road trip? How important just being at home and get a, get a win? It's, I mean, 
anyone, everyone's important. Certainly now, um, you know, you, you, I think our guys do a pretty good job of tuning out things that don't help them try to win a hockey game. But as, as you know, as any team in pro sports, as the losses accumulate, the noise gets louder around you. Um, and it can be a distraction to focus. It can be, uh, it can be a real negative uh, to, to create anxiety, create, you know, tension. Um, I think our guys do a really good job to block out, to not allow that dynamic to happen. Um, but any time you, you know, you teams don't win in, in leagues like this, it, it compounds, it, the potential of it to compound. So it'd be one, you know, thing when you, when you win, you don't have to worry about that. You don't have to, you know, uh, that you don't have to try to block it out. Uh, so you can stay focused, block it out for a purpose. Um, so yeah, a win is based on that. A win, win would be great, but you know we're we're going to go into the game. We won't even mention that. It's not even worth mentioning. Honestly, you, you got to get focused on your execution. And like I said, it, it, you look at five games. We we could have won a couple, and you know, um, and I don't think anybody would be surprised. We could have won more than a couple, and I don't think anybody would be surprised. We we're not we're not playing poorly. Uh, and that's that's really what we want. We want our guys to compete and play hard, and we know over the long run that's going to bear out uh, well for us. When it comes to Henry, you said in the locker room, like, he's not a savior. It's not like he can just fix anything that has gone wrong, of course. But what have you been missing with him, more reliable presence? With yeah, well, well, I would say, you know what, not, no single one guy in a team sport is going to be a savior. I mean, you just, the team's winning this. So, so you can add great pieces and great pieces, but it's the collect, you know, it's a collection of those that, that are the tipping point to winning. And you know, we're we're maybe below that tipping point in some of these games, and now you're adding a guy in that is can play 25 minutes. That uh, and and that is a lot of hockey to have a guy that can can give you more stability for 25 minutes is. Um, is significant, and you could look at our margin of defeat and error in the last few nights could could simply be put in that context. So, so in that context, yes, adding Yokoharu is is uh, huge. Now he's been off for a couple of weeks. He's dealt with an injury. So, how long will it take him to get back to you know his level of proficiency? Uh, we don't know that. He hasn't had a lot of practice, and and this is probably a supplement to his practice getting back in there. To get back up to his form, so uh, we, you know, I don't want to put a lot of pressure on him. Obviously, um, you know, uh, but but he's a talented guy, and that'll be a big help getting him back. Like about Elite hockey sense. I mean, they both read situations so well together um, that I think if you if you could keep them together, and they will go together in the future, um, they're going to be pretty special. Um, that is a dynamic pair, um, but yeah, they're they're just their intelligence. They, they they read and see things at a level that not many do, and at the level that they can almost communicate uh, intuitively, silently as they make plays. As you get a little bit healthier, does it make you a little bit more comfortable putting those guys together, just as far as balancing out the two line? Uh, yeah, it would. I mean, Samuelson and Yokoharu are two. Two guys that are just, you know, that's that. Those are those are guys that can just they can separate people from the puck, quick. They're strong. They're, um, and you know that goes a long way for, you know, power play entries against you, exiting your zone. Like there's so many, so so when you have those players back, you don't have to compensate for not having them. So you're asking Owen and Dolls a lot less. Uh, and that can free them up to. But we do like those guys in offensive situations, an offensive zone face-off, maybe with the Thompson line, or after an icing, uh, if a team gets stuck out with a line that's tired, um, you know if you win that draw and it's in the hands of Owen and, and Dahls, uh, it's highly likely you're going to be able to create something right then. In those guys' absence, how have you seen Fitzgerald take a step forward? I saw he was all over Frederick Saturday night, but um, how have you seen him? Yeah, I think you know Fitzy hasn't had a lot of games in the NHL, so he is he is evolving and he's taken in a lot. And there's, you know, uh, like I said, unfortunately, a lot you learn from experiences through through making making mistakes. And I think um, 
you know, with all with with all the guys that have come in without a lot of experience, it'd be him, Clegg, not a lot of games, um, Pilot, not a lot of games. Um, you know, it it is still they're in a they're in a major learning you know period of their career, uh, but he's he's progressing. He competes. Fitzy competes every night. Uh, he has an identity of playing physical, and and that's good. So there's there are things that uh, are real real nice to see with him.